SOLIDWORKS 2021 has a huge set of new features and performance enhancements. Let's take a closer look at some of them right now. Let's take a look at some of the new enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation 2021. This thruster is described in the simulation as a rotating region. And we've had that before. But what's new in Flow Simulation 2021 is the ability to combine rotating regions with a relatively new free surface option. This is great when we have situations where we're mixing two or more liquids together and you want to be able to visualize the results very accurately. Let's go ahead and accept all that and take a look at the results in the plot. So there we can see we're mixing these two liquids together as the thruster goes through the two materials. Now, for this thruster, we're solving for the torque and the power requirements. Okay, so we have some goals that have been created to track these results. And if we look at the history, we can see the curve there as well. But what we want to do is we want to see the actual values. And what's new in Flow Sim 2021 is we have columns to show you the maximum value and the time that that value occurred during this simulation time frame. Creating plots that are common to use over and over again is even easier now in 2021 because we can have we have the ability to create plots from our scene. Just activate the plots and view them as I want. I can reuse these by simply turning on these plots and then I can save them using the create scene template option also new in Flow Sim 2021. So now I can go ahead and reuse these common plots in forward projects as well as the one I'm currently working on. Another way to use flow simulation is for heat transfer. So looking at this case here, you know, we have some electronics inside here, some batteries and stuff. And actually the case itself is a heat sink in and of itself. Now in flow simulation 2021, I want to see how the heat is moving from one place to another. And I would go ahead and use a flux plot for that. But what's new in 2021 is the ability to group all these together so I can see the energy balance and ensure that everything is converging in my study. Now, if I want to look at a certain area of my model, I can do a cropped region. And now in 2021 full sim, I automatically am going to have the max and min of ends of the plot um, set to the values that are only inside of that crop region. So I don't have to manually change those values to have that scale correspond only to the crop section I'm looking at. Another improvement in goals is the ability to calculate minimums, averages, and maximums from a whole group or selection of goals. So in this case, I can easily discover the maximum temperature across all the batteries and the PC boards with minimal setup work. And to further reduce the amount of manual calculations you got to do, custom visualization parameters that you create can now depend on other custom visualization parameters that you've created before. So if I want to find out, for example, the dew point temperature and combine these two parameters together, I can do that. And once I do this and add to the library, I can reuse it in future projects as well. So some great new enhancements to SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation 2021. So that's just some of what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2021. To find out more, go to www.gsc-3d.com today.